3D Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everyone! In today's video, I'm going to be doing Aku Aku from Crash Bandicoot, and this is a 3D nail design. And so, this is a pretty simple, cute, fun, easy to do design, and I hope you like it. And don't forget to click subscribe to my future videos as well. So, I'm going to start with an overlay of white acrylic. So, just put down your bead of white and then pull it down the nail just like that and I know that it's not quite to the cuticle but I'll add a little bit more to blend that out in a second so just finish off that cuticle area with a little more acrylic just like that really blend it nicely nice and thin and then I'm going to be adding a layer of clear acrylic over the top of this to encase the nail and make sure that's nice and strong the white acrylic was just for color at this point I'm going to be adding the apex and the thickness and everything like that in acrylic. The clear acrylic is going to be stronger than any color, so it's going to really, it's nice to just add a layer of that to make sure that the nail's strong regardless. So now I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with just an e-file, just making sure that everything looks good. You can also use files, and if I were to use hand files, I would suggest a 180 grit. That's my personal favorite. And then I'm going to be applying a layer of gel sealer and curing. So now on a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting the feathers that go onto the top of the mask. So I'm going, I'm not sculpting them in the order that they go on the nail for what reason, I have no idea. So I started with blue, so I'm just gonna pull that into shape and then with a silicone tool, separate out the little sections of the barbs of the feather, just like that. And as you can see, the one side got not quite, or got a little too set by the time I got to it, but it's okay. And then after that one's done, I'm going to make the red one. So then just next to it on the nail form backing, just continue on like that. And like I said, these aren't in the order that you're going to put them in the mask, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter. Normally though, I'm pretty um, organized and I like to keep things in order. So once I realized these were out of order, it really bothered me. So that's just the kind of crazy thing that bugs me. So then I'm just going to add the little um, separation details with those on the red and the yellow one and then the last one is going to be the green one so put that down spread that out and you want to make just like a little handle on the end of each one where it's going to attach into the acrylic so just add like a little point a little extra so then on the nail um, a little bit down from the cuticle put down a little bit of brown acrylic and then set down your feathers and at this point my acrylic was setting quite quickly it was relatively warm in my house at the time and so then I just had a little bit more of the brown acrylic to attach the last two because the first two were fine those last two needed needed some help so once those are attached going red blue yellow green I'm going to be adding the rest of the brown section of the mask so this is just like the base layer you're going to add eye details and mouths and all of that in a moment so just with brown and I'm doing this section by section pretty small the reason I'm doing this normally I would get out my bigger brush and do the whole thing try to do it like in one bead but I knew that the brown acrylic would stain the gel sealer especially against the white so I didn't want the acrylic to run too much I want it to pretty much stay where I put it so I just made sure that I didn't go too crazy with putting too much acrylic down at one time so that I could manage it and keep it contained so then after that's on there, looking pretty good, it's got a nice um, rectangular like jaw, and I'm going to be adding his eyes with yellow. So the first, they're different, a little different sizes and shapes, and they are on, they're little one on the, I guess, on the nail to the right side, but when you're looking at the left side, is a little higher than the one that is on the right side. So then I'm going to be, after those are in place, I'm going to be adding the eyebrows with red acrylic. So just place those down and sort of pull them out into a nice long rectangle. The one, the, the left side is going to go a little bit farther off the eyeball, sort of out into the side a little bit. And then I'm going to be out, or lining the bottom of each eye with some green acrylic just going around them. It's a relatively thin bead and you just kind of pull it around the bottom of the eye. And if your eyeball is thick enough, it should just really easily just stretch around. If it's pretty thin, if the acrylic that you made the yellow part of the eye with was thin, you might have a little bit more difficulty with it. So just make sure that that yellow acrylic is thick enough to support doing this, almost like you're doing a French tip. Just like that. And so then I'm going to be adding his triangular nose with more of that red acrylic, just like that. And I know that his nose seems to be a little bit more of an orange tone, but I will add some yellow acrylic to that in a moment to highlight it and really bring that out. And then I'm going to once again be using red acrylic and sculpting out his mouth. So I'm just gonna go around it. I'm gonna try to keep the inside of his mouth thin. Uh, there is a little bit of red acrylic on there. There doesn't need to be, that just is a coincidence. Um, you're really just working on the outline of his mouth. So add that top part, which is like a really soft looking M. And then the bottom part just curves around the bottom line of his jaw. Just like that. 
make sure that that's thick enough so that it's going to support filling it in with white in a moment and then pull out a little bit of green acrylic on the bottom for that little bit of green that sticks out there and then i'm going to be filling in his mouth with white and i try to let my red acrylic set plenty of time i thought it was going to be good but it still apparently wasn't totally set because the red acrylic bled into the white make sure that your red acrylic is completely set before adding the white or it's going to bleed into it like that and then highlight his nose and his eyebrows with some really wet yellow acrylic just like that. I'm also going to be highlighting his upper lip too, just a little bit. Just really, like I said, this is what acrylic to highlight. Fill in behind the feathers with some clear acrylic. This is going to add strength. So just any gap that you see, make sure that that gets all filled in. Otherwise, those feathers are going to break off really, really quickly. They're still on the delicate side as it is, but you know, anything you can do to help that, that's a good thing. So then fill in his teeth with white paint just because the white acrylic got a little bit pink and then separate them with a black line and then also just go through and separate the teeth with black and then add a couple more little outlines around the rest of it with black around the nose, around the chin, upper lip, just sort of like the bottom of everything. Go through and add that. And that was a line that was accidental, but I'll fix that in a moment around his eyes just a little bit, just like that. And then a center on each feather. So then because I made that little mess and I wanted to brighten the eyes anyway, I'm going to be brightening them with some yellow acrylic paint just over the eye itself and then cover that with some matte top coat and that is it all done so i hope you like this design if you are a crash bandicoot fan please share any recreations with me on facebook and instagram i would love to see them and i will see you in my next video bye